Hi guys and welcome to Maximilian Photography. In this video I want to show you guys how I made this little adapter thing and it basically is just a filter thread adapter that slides on to your flash hat and it allows you to attach a variety of filters. You could use a polarizer filter, I most of the time use it with a UV filter, UV only and um, yeah let's just jump right into it. What we're going to need is adapter rings, step up rings in a size that match the filters you're intending to use with the flash head adapter. Um, I recommend 77 or 82 millimeters. That way you don't waste any light with a standard flash. That's just the dimensions that work. Um, you will need a Pringles can, a can opener, duct tape and some glue. That's about it, I believe. Maybe a pair of scissors. <laughs> And that'll do the job. Now, in order to make a UV only light source, which is the purpose of, of this adapter for me and probably for many of the viewers, um, we will have to remove the UV filter element from the flash hat. And modern flashes pretty much always have just plastic layers as a UV filter element. Some older flashes, is what I hear, have an actual coating on a little flash tube which won't allow you to remove the UV filter. So just do the research if you use an older flash for this or if you want to use an older flash. And you, you probably saw that this flash is powered on right now. This is because I already did the conversion. But when you do the conversion, make sure there is no batteries inside the flash. In the best case it is a new flash that has not even been charged up and this is just because the little capacitors, that's the word, um, that, that is because the capacitor in the flash head saves energy and stores energy of high voltage for a long time. There is no evident numbers but I would wait at least four weeks without having this thing charged up before I would even touch it and I still would wear proper rubber gloves, electrician's rubber gloves. Um, yeah, this is just my word of notice. I don't want anyone of you to hurt yourselves. Um, I'll show you how to take off the filter element from the Yongnuo YN 563 that I'm using. And I believe this is similar for pretty much all Yongnuo models. It's really simple. Um, we're going to need, I forgot to mention that, we're going to need a little screwdriver and is there anything else? Maybe a pair of tweezers or a pocket knife. I'll be using a pocket knife and this is definitely going to do the job. Now, that's about it. Let's get started. straightforward and not too hard to do, eh? Um, I really like how this doesn't have any velcro or anything, it just slides on and off, it doesn't lose a lot of light and it works quite effectively. Now the filter I used here is one that I found on eBay and I'll be posting links to filters that work in the description below. Um, Besides that, yeah, because you took the UV filter element out, please make sure you don't point it at anybody's eyes directly without wearing proper UV goggles. 
And if, <laughs> if you want to use it for regular flash purpose, then just make sure you take off the UV filter or whatever you use. The UV only filter off and put on a UV block filter so that you're good to go and you don't harm anybody's eyesight. And that's it for this video. That was really just to quickly show you how I made this in case anybody's interested. Um, yeah, I'll see you next week with another topic. Till then, stay creative, keep shooting and have a good time. Bye!